Section A, Comprehension. Question 1, Reading for Meaning and Understanding. Read texts A and B below and answer the questions set. Text A. The Age of Intimacy Famine. 1. 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. 7. Like most humans, I want intimacy. But as a developmental psychologist, I consider intimacy a fundamental human need. Intimate moments are often the touchstones of a rich human experience. Yet, millions of people worldwide are isolated and lonely, woefully lacking in the meaningful and diverse social experiences that help support emotional and physical health. As modern life has grown more distanced through technological innovation, our opportunities for deep, intimate moments have dwindled. The pandemic has only exacerbated this trend, sending many of us deeper into our online worlds. This has left many of us starving. We have entered an intimacy famine. Though the pandemic might have accelerated our feelings of social deprivation, we were already on this course, staring at our phones as if they held the answer to our woes. And, ironically, perhaps they do. My phone is probably the most demanding entity in my world. I have taught my students that responsiveness is one of the crucial elements of parenting and one of the most important things you can do as a parent to nurture a child. Hence, through my responsiveness to my phone's demands, I have nurtured it as well. But it is not only responsiveness that has solidified our relationship. I carefully wipe its screen to remove smudges, social grooming. I carry it with me everywhere in either my purse, hand or pocket, skin-to-screen bonding. I get nervous if I cannot find it, separation anxiety. We are bonded. This relationship has not gone unnoticed by others in my orbit. Since 2016, researchers around the world have found some consistent trends in the ways in which technology is interfering in relationships. Specifically, People sometimes choose to interact with their phones over the humans in their lives, and this can cause conflict and jealousy. This, in turn, relates to lower levels of relationship satisfaction, and it also compromises intimacy. Why might we feel so rebuffed when someone chooses to interact with a phone as opposed to us? According to the theory of symbolic interactionism, our interactions with others are laced with messages, and those messages help us determine our role in that person's life. When people elect to attend to their phone rather than to us, it sends the signal that the phone is more important than we are. Even if this is only a momentary experience, it can feel like rejection, registering as a relationship cost. 5. 10. 15. 20. 25 30 8 9 10 11 12 Our decision to stay in a relationship involves a constant evaluation of the costs and benefits of that relationship. Essentially, we are keeping tally of pluses and minuses for our partners, and to stay invested and committed, a balance must be struck. From a larger, societal standpoint, phones and technology use may also be causing discontent. Since the early 21st century, there has been much media attention directed to the research of psychologist Jean Twenge and colleagues. Their studies have demonstrated a rise in rates of depression and anxiety corresponding to increased rates of technology use among young people over the past decade. According to the researchers, technology certainly helps people form relationships. Yet, now they are sitting in their bedrooms and connecting with others online. 
They are missing out on the face-to-face -face interactions that help keep them happy and feeling socially connected. Even worse, going online and on social media is making them stressed, lonely and depressed. As humans, we spend a good amount of time thinking about what other people think. Although this is not meant to be a controversial proposition, I am sure that some of you are saying to yourselves, no, I don't do that, or I don't care what other people think. This is understandable. However, it is absolutely normal to think and care about what other people think. It is a sign that you are attuned to your social surroundings. More than that, you need and care about people and their feelings. You are attached, and attachment to others can help us weather all kinds of storms. This is why I would never propose giving up your smartphone or doing a phone detox. Instead, accept your attachment to your phone for what it is, you are clinging to a lifeline that connects you to important people in your world. For some, the shape of intimacy is morphing so much that the drips they get through texts and social media are enough to sustain connection. For others, in-person interactions are craved. But for all of us, we need to strike a balance, letting our daily technology drip supplement and facilitate deeper, in-person moments. And whether we are texting our friends or meeting a loved one for dinner, it is our desire to connect and our vulnerability once we get there that are the makings of an intimate life. Adapted from TheGuardian.com 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 and text b source digitalzenosize.com questions text a 1.1 Refer to Paragraph 1 Why does the writer consider intimacy a fundamental human need? 2. A. Answer Intimacy is the basis of human experience and supports emotional and physical health. Without intimacy, loneliness and isolation are experienced. Explanation The writer considers intimacy a fundamental human need because they believe it enriches human experiences, supports emotional and physical health, and because the absence of intimacy can lead to loneliness and isolation, which are detrimental to well-being. 1.2 Explain your understanding of the expression sending many of us deeper into Our Online Worlds, Line 8 2. Answer. People prefer to engage on virtual slash digital platforms. Slash people start avoiding face-to-face -face encounters. Explanation. In the context of sending many of us deeper into our online worlds, it suggests that when people find the costs of their real-world relationships outweighing the benefits, they may turn to online activities and interactions as a way to escape, seek solace, or find alternatives. The expression indicates that individuals may use the Internet as a refuge or distraction from the challenges and difficulties they face in their relationships, which can result in them becoming more deeply immersed in online activities and communities. 1.3 Refer to Paragraph 3 Account for the single line paragraph. 2. Answer. The short paragraph emphasizes the impact of the lack of intimacy. Slash it highlights the writer's argument that people are devoid of close human connection. Slash it reinforces the link to the intimacy famine metaphor in the title. Consider responses that focus on the technical aspects of the single-line paragraph. 1.4 Discuss how the diction in paragraph 5 reveals the writer's relationship with her phone. 3. 
Answer. The writer shares a parent-child relationship with her cellular phone. She refers to it as demanding, requiring her attention all the time. She uses psychological jargon, such as social grooming, skin-to-screen bonding and separation anxiety, to indicate her special attachment to her cellular phone. The emotive word nurture forward slash nurtured reveals the personal nature of the relationship. 1.5 Refer to Paragraph 7 Discuss how the theory of symbolic interactionism may be used to explain the loss of intimacy in a technological age. 3. Answer The theory implies that there are nuances slash underlying messages when we interact with someone. Physical cues are obvious with face-to-face -face encounters. When we interact with our cellular phones instead of a person, we send the signal that the recipient is less important. The theory sheds light on the relationship cost caused by the dominance of cellular phones. 1.6 Comment on the Paradox in Paragraph 10 3. Answer while technology enables connectivity, the connectivity is online and lacks face-to-face -face interaction which is necessary for authentic relationships. The purpose of connecting with others online is to find intimacy. However, there is a loss because the possibility of physical intimacy is abandoned for the sake of online intimacy, which then leads to both loneliness and depression. 1.7 Critically discuss how the writer develops her argument in paragraph 11. 3. Answer. The writer emphasizes that human beings need approval, despite their claims to the contrary. Her argument is further strengthened by the repetition of the aside in parenthesis and care. Finally, she acknowledges that technology is needed to stay connected to those who are significant to us. 1.8 In your view, is the final paragraph an appropriate conclusion to the article as A whole? Substantiate your response. 3. Answer. Yes. The concluding paragraph links to the article inviting the reader to question whether we are connected or isolated socially. It sums up the writer's view that we can strike a balance between the use of technology and maintaining social relationships. She succeeds in convincing the reader that we need to acknowledge our need to connect and to accept our vulnerability in order to achieve intimacy in our lives. Credit Valid Alternative Responses a no response is unlikely. However, consider each response on its own merit. Questions, text B. 1.9 What does frame 2 reveal about Dilbert? 2. Answer. Frame 2 reveals Dilbert's self-isolation slash obsession with his cellular phone. Explanation. Frame 2 of Dilbert comic strip shows Dilbert lying on his back with his eyes closed and a smile on his face. He is holding a smartphone in his hand. 1.10 Comment on the satire evident in the cartoon. 3. Answer. The cartoonist satirizes the apparent failure of human relationships. Dilbert feels that the relationship with his cellular phone is far more beneficial to him than a relationship with any person slash woman. Society's attachment to technology is illustrated by Dilbert's antisocial behavior, slash the psychologist's assumption in frame 3 that Dilbert is referring to a woman in frame 2, possibly satirizes the stereotypical role that women are seen to play in relationships. Question, texts A and B. 1.11 Refer to both text A and text B. 
Does text B support the title and paragraph 6 of text A? Justify your response. 4. Answer. Dilbert is totally satisfied with having a relationship with his phone. He does not value having relationships with humans. This contradicts the message of paragraph 6, where the use of cellular phones is seen as purely detrimental. Dilbert appears not to suffer from conflict and jealousy, intimacy famine does not affect him. Total Section A, 30 Section B, Summary Question 2, Summarizing in Your Own Words Text C discusses good public speaking skills. Summarize, in your own words, the techniques needed to deliver an effective speech. Note, 1, your summary should include 7 points and not exceed 90 words. You must write a fluent paragraph. You are not required to include a title for the summary. Indicate your word count at the end of your summary. Any seven valid points to be credited in paragraph form. Text C. The Gift of the Gab. You are standing in an auditorium packed with friends, family, colleagues, and peers. You are about to walk onto the stage and address them. If you are shaking and looking for the exit, you are normal. Nowadays, being able to address a crowd is no longer the domain of the brave. If you want to get ahead in your career, you need to master it. You do not have to write out your speech word by word, but get the headline, three key points and the concluding sentence on paper and put bullet points under each. Then run through it and note which of your bullet points are relevant and can be included in your speech. Adapt your notes and try again. Without this kind of preparation, you will not have a structured speech. If you film yourself, you will be able to see the points of your speech that need attention. Having a camera on hand is useful. This is how you will see the points that need work and how you can improve your delivery. It will also teach you this, most of the information the audience will take away will be from your energy, a little will be from your tone and a fraction will be from your words. Once you have sorted out the words, focus on how to exude the right energy. Do you need confidence, gravitas, or humor? Five minutes before a talk, try to recall a success you have had, focusing on the details of that success. Being confident about the delivery of your speech will assist to bring that feeling of confidence to life. We cannot speak without breath, yet it is the first thing we let go of when we are nervous. Settle your breathing before you start. If you lose control of your breath in the middle, say, let's take a moment to think about the last point. That gives you a pause point to collect your breath and no one will be any wiser. The only way to get over a fear of public speaking is to do it, again and again. You will have good experiences and bad ones but, if you do it enough, you will realize that occasionally, it is fun. Adapted from Psychologies, December 2019 Total Section B, 10 Section C, Language Structures and Conventions Question 3, Analyzing Advertising Study the advertisement, text D, below and answer the set questions. Marking Section C Spelling one-word answers must be marked correct even if the spelling is incorrect, unless the error changes the meaning of the word. In full sentence answers, incorrect spelling should be penalized if the error is in the language structure being tested. Where an abbreviation is tested, 
the answer must be punctuated correctly. Sentence structures must be grammatically correct and given in full sentences slash as per instruction. For multiple choice questions, accept both the letter corresponding. Questions, text D. 3.1 Why does the advertiser make the claim, it made shoes shine in the 70s? It makes beaches dirty today? 2. Answer. The contents of the product, shoe polish, made shoes shine in the 1970s. However, the container is now littering the beaches. 3.2 Comment on one advertising technique used in the presentation of, it's back. 3. Answer. The expression is in bold font slash reverse print slash white printing on a black background which draws the reader's attention to slash piques the reader's interest in the return of an old product. Medallion slash rosette shape, the presentation of the product makes it appear as though it is popular, and its reappearance is to be celebrated. Apostrophe, the contraction makes the expression informal and more appealing to a wider audience. The exclamation mark slash dramatic statement conveys excitement slash alarm slash cynicism slash fear at the reappearance of the shoe polish. 3.3 Critically discuss how the appearance of the container supports the message of the advertisement. 3. Answer. The container appears battered but is still intact after surviving 50 years in the ocean. This indicates the indestructibility of plastic waste. Whilst the product was useful in the 70s, it is detrimental to the environment. The accumulation of non-recyclable plastic in the ocean over a period of time poses a threat to the environment. 3.4 Identify the part of speech of the underlined word. This plastic packaging was recently found on a beach after 50 years floating. In the ocean. 1. Answer. Noun slash gerund slash verbal noun. 3.5 What is the function of the apostrophe in its back? 1. Answer. The apostrophe indicates contraction slash omission. 10. Question 4. Understanding other aspects of the media. Study the cartoon, text E, below and answer the set questions. Text E. Glossary. One Candy Crush, Frame 10, A Gaming Application Characters. Young Girl, Fandy. Old Lady, Mother Anderson. Questions, Text E. 4.1 Refer to Frame 1. What does Mother Anderson's body language convey about her attitude? Toward Fandy? 2. She remains seated with the newspaper in front of her face. She is disinterested slash uninterested slash nonchalant about slash dismissive of Fandy's ordeal. 4.2 Refer to Frames 3 and 5. Comment on Thandy's responses to Mother Anderson in these frames. 3. In frame 3, Thandy is surprised slash outraged when Mother Anderson suggests that she use her imagination. In frame 5, she asserts that she does not need to use her imagination as the apps designed by the large companies do it for her. Thandy is oblivious to the power of the imagination preferring the conditioning of the entertainment app. 4.3 Discuss how humor is created in frame 10, in the context of the cartoon as a whole. 3. 
The humor is conveyed when Mother Anderson thinks she has convinced Thandy to use her imagination, only to find, in the last frame, that ironically Thandy's imagination is being used to cope with her technology addiction, slash Mother Anderson appears defeated, it's hopeless. She returns to her position behind the newspaper without verbal engagement, as she realizes that it is difficult to change Thandy's mindset. 4.4 Refer to Frame 4 What does the expression all the parts are rusted mean in the context of the cartoon? 1. It means that she is unable to use her imagination. Slash her imagination is in a state of disuse. 4.5 The words, apps, android and rebooted are examples of A. Acronym B. Jargon Colloquialism Malapropism 1. Answer, B. Jargon Explanation these words are not acronyms, colloquialisms, or malapropisms. They are specialized terms often used in the context of technology and computing, which makes them jargon. Jargon refers to terminology that is specific to a particular field or group and may not be widely understood by people outside of that field. 10. Question 5. Using language correctly. Read text F which contains some deliberate errors, and answer the set questions. Text F January Does it bring you joy? 1 2 3 January is the time for renewal on many fronts. It's the time of the year to re-evaluate everything. If something or someone doesn't bring you joy, it's pretty pointless carrying on with it. If we want the best, we must do our best. We must keep our family space safe and secure so that we are thriving as a people and as a nation. 5. In order to live their best lives, people are spreading themselves thinner and thinner with multiple streams of income. In the process we earn more but live less we lose our focus of what is important. With social media, keeping up with other Instagrammers are having a devastating effect on self-perception. Everything appears to be real perfect, but 10 the fabric of our society is frazzled. Use January to take stock and start navigating new ways of doing things. Instead of multiple streams of soul sessions, travel more, and connect with people and places that bring you joy. Adapted from the Juice, January 2020. Questions, text F. 5.1 Refer to line 1. Provide a synonymous phrase for on many fronts. 1. Answer. In many aspects or in various areas. 5.2 What is the function of the hyphen in reevaluate? Line 2. 1. Answer. The hyphen joins the prefix to the verb slash separates two vowels slash assists in pronunciation. Explanation. The hyphen in reevaluate serves the function of creating a compound word. In this case, it connects the prefix re dash meaning again or anew, to the root word evaluate. The purpose of the hyphen is to show that these two elements are functioning together as a single unit to form a new word with a specific meaning. Reevaluate means to assess or appraise something again, emphasizing the act of evaluating once more. The hyphen helps clarify and enhance the understanding of the word's meaning. 5.3 Rewrite the following sentence in the passive voice. If something or someone doesn't bring you joy, it's pretty pointless carrying on. With it, lines 2 to 3. 1. Answer. If joy is not brought to you by someone or something, 
It's pretty pointless carrying on with it. Or It's pretty pointless carrying on with it, if joy is not brought to you by someone or something. Or If you are not brought joy by something or someone, it's pretty pointless carrying on with it. 5.4 Remove the redundancy in paragraph 1. 1. Answer. We must keep our family space safe slash secure so that we are thriving as a people slash nation. 5.5 Refer to lines 7 and 8. In the process, what is important? Correct the error of punctuation. 1. Answer. In the process we earn more but live less, we lose our focus of what is important. Or In the process we earn more but live less, we lose our focus of what is important. Or In the process we earn more but live less, we lose our focus of what is important. Or in the process we earn more, but live less, we lose our focus of what is important. 5.6 A verb has been used incorrectly in paragraph 3. Rewrite the sentence so that it is grammatically correct. 1. Answer. With social media, keeping up with other Instagrammers is having slash has a devastating effect on self-perception. 5.7 Instead of multiple streams of soul sessions, travel more, and connect with people in places that bring you joy, lines 12 to 13. Replace a word in the above sentence with a homophone that is contextually correct. 1. Answer, soul, soul. 5.8 Provide the correct form of the word real in line 10. 1. Answer, really. Revised, the corrected sentence is, everything appears to be really perfect, but the fabric of our society is frazzled. 5.9 Choose the most appropriate response from the list of alternatives below. Everything appears to be real perfect, but the fabric of our society is frazzled. Lines 10 to 11 is an example of a sentence. Simple. Complex. Complex compound. Compound 1. Answer D. Compound sentence. Explanation. The sentence everything appears to be real perfect but the fabric of our society is frazzled is indeed an example of a compound sentence. It contains two independent clauses, everything appears to be real perfect and the fabric of our society is frazzled, connected by the coordinating conjunction, but. 5.10 refer to line 11. Use the word stock as a verb in a full sentence. 1. Answer. In January, it's crucial to take stock of our lives and start navigating new ways of doing things. 10. Total section C, 30 grand total, 70. 5.11.